Hello, this is Spellbinders a report on the uh, oh ahead and behind stereo satellites again. This time I've come across today on the 20th of May. The same ships that other people have caught. I've watched other people's videos and these are exactly the same vehicles. I'm not really sure their size and myself. But as you can see this one right here is amazing in itself. It's real clear. I've already did the adjustments to highlight it and bring it out. But it's got two pads here, a couple more pads there, a pad down there. You actually see uh, structure around it. And let me take it back down. I got up at 400x. Let me take it down to 100x. And now I'm going to take you to the next object. This strange one off to the side here, which just got caught in the uh, frame. And it looks like cylindrical right here, like a cylinder. There's something here. I can't quite. I got everything turned up, so this is as much I get, but you can see there's other structure just around the edges of this. Like it's actually not reflecting any light. But there is something there. Let's see if I can go to adjust the brightness on this. Bring it up a little more. Okay, starting to get to see you starting to see a square pixelation. Like it's actually more to it. I can do that and make it look like that, or I can bring down the contrast, the negative 50, and you'll see it, the actual outline of the object. Okay, let me bring it back down to brightness. And I'll cancel that out. But this is very, very strange. It's got like a rod sticking down there. There's something black that's in front that's blocking this part of it. It goes off into a 45 degree angle right there. I said I couldn't much pull everything up on it. And let's see what else I can do with this. Let me back it up because there's more in this particular picture. And this one is the one that was done on the 20th at 115 a.m. I guess universal time. And I'm ca catching this one here. This is another one. That is on the same frame on the other side. It's almost spherical looking. Or it has a ionization coming off of it. And the actual structure is right across there. This not very really sure. It's just like it just absorbs everything. It absorbs all light. The black is just blacker than black. I mean, it's as black as this black out here, and it's in the corona. So that's pretty unusual in itself. And this is all just one picture so far. And you have this one up here, which is very unusual. What I'll do is I'll take the enhance again. I'll go to lighting adjustment. Go to the brightness and contrast. Pull the brightness up. It doesn't show very much. I'll pull the contrast up and then pull the brightness the rest of the way up. See if it gets anything. It smooths it out is what the contrast when you bring it up. When you bring it down it kind of grainyizes it. It's like you used to have on the analog TVs. Okay, but that's for that picture. And what I'm going to do here and I'm going to go back here and I'm going to revert it and this is what it originally looked like the entire frames and I'll give you this one here which can't even see the uh, one off here on the side unless I enhance auto smart fix auto Okay, let me see what, what happened to it. I'm on the same picture. There's that one again. There's that one. Oh, it must have been on top, maybe. Huh. 
Now going on to the next picture. And you got that there. This has already been highlighted. And you got this wool. Pearls of something not quite close enough to be formed. Oh, and there's the, uh, I wanted to show this. Another guy showed this and said it looked like a, uh, a Klingon bird of prey. And it kind of does. Or it even kind of looks like something out of uh, Stargate SG-1, the uh, wing crafts that the, uh, that the Garou had. And it's interesting. It reminds me of the picture that they had of uh, Queen Elizabeth. They discovered that became visible a serpent on it. And I'm saying, well, that looks just like a gold <laughs> serpent on there. Kind of interesting. Let me get over here. I got to lift this bag up. I got one right here. I'm going to back up the thing so I can see everything here. back up the magnification on here all right I guess that's it for this picture here like I said I already got these already formed and what I'm going to do now I'm going to show you that when you revert them back to the original this is what the original photo looks like without enhancing and then the background brightness and that's what these things actually look like when they're like that all right let's go on the next one got two of them in here. I already got these adjusted up so I can back them back so you can see originally what they look like. But there it is again. One, two, three, four thing. Where the guy showed the picture where he thinks it looks like. It does basically look like that. Not very sure, but these things are I mean, I'm looking at videos from 2007 with the same exact ships in them. And I'm calling them as they look, they look like uh, extraterrestrial vehicles which would be spaceships not saying that they're flying saucers or anything there's one that was right in the corona up here if I didn't get a slingshot affected everything would have been all right and here's this one this is on the next picture it's pretty unusual it's got this shape here and that's about as best you're going to get. That's at 500 times what it originally is. It was like that when you back it off. It's got something behind it a little bit. And you got this down here. It's a nice long looking thing. It's kind of caught my attention because it's so uh, uniform like a Dautilus from SG-1. The long ships that they got okay and then you got this one here now I'm going to do is I'm going to revert again revert back that's what it looked like before enhancement or if you go to enhance and you go just to lighting adjustments basically all you really need to pull these things out and you can see it's still got the one two three four it's got the like I don't know, it almost looks like uh, air input vents, but who knows? I know that none of these come up clear because of the uh, filtering and everything to keep the sun from burning out the uh, camera on the satellite. But these things are close enough that they're being lit by the corona. And they appear to be huge. Okay, last picture I'm going to cover. And I'm going to have to back this one off automatically. This one here. It's got that there. It almost looks like the same one, except it moved from down here up to here. I mean, these are different pictures on different times. That one's at 1445 on the 20th. That'll be, I guess, universal time. Then you got the small black spheres, which appear that way because they're shadowing off the light of the sun, that are close, real close to the sun. Probably some type of probe. 
I've noticed some of those in the bright light, the spheres that others talked about. This is all off the ahead today. Today I decided to get get pictures off of the ahead. And you have this one here. And if you actually do smart adjust on it and do auto, as it brings out something again, this almost looks like the same picture I had before. Okay. Well, that looks like it. That's all I have to show for today. There's some more, but I don't have time to show them. I'm going to get off here and post this. And again, all you have to do is go to the uh, ahead and back. And you'll be able to find these things, as I did. And you'll be able to compare for yourself. What are we really looking at here? I wish I had the uh, program like I've seen in TV. It seems like the uh, NSA and stuff has. Where they can take in the computer world take the pixels that allow the focus and add more pixels in and then bring it in to a clear image that would be nice to have that software but I haven't been able to see any commercial software for something like that okay and go back up that one's the one that's in the corona of the sun that looks very strange there because it's so close you know it's just it's blurted out either that it's just beyond the corona on the other side of the sun and we're just seeing it going through the corona and it looks like it's in the corona but I just can't see a ship unless it has some type of deflector system that can deflect all the heat that kind of brings back the Star Trek episode of the Ferengi and his ship that could go into the sun and be able to actually get several thousand miles above the surface of the sun maybe these critters have that technology but there you go. That's what I'm showing today. Until next time, I guess I'll say this is Spellbinder doing a report on the extraterrestrial vehicles being spotted around the sun. And I guess until next time, I'll say be good, be good at it. And keep your eye on the sky. Because that's where everything's happening now. Is in the sky. Back to this one again. And I'm just going to de-enhance. Or just break this off. Revert it. And that's what it looked like before I enhanced it. Alrighty then. You all take a, have a good day. Keep your mind open. Do your research. Be good, be good at it. This is Spellbinder's report. Good day.